Hey everybody, our house 21 here. This is a quick tip for you guys. So one thing that you need to keep in mind if you use lithium polymer batteries or lipos as we like to call them is the fact that lipos are great. Lipos can be really safe, but lipos do require a little bit of maintenance every now and then. And what that means is that every few months, let's just say maybe every quarter, you should take your lipos and you should take them out and you should use a lipo checker, a good one like what I have right here, my little venom lipo checker. And you should plug each battery up and make sure that it is at the proper storage charge. Now, if you're going to be using a battery you know, in let's say a few days or a week after charging it, you know, that's usually fairly safe. But if you leave it sitting for more than a few days, you should always have a charger that has a storage charge capability and that will drain the charge out of the battery and set it up to about 3.8 volts per cell. Well, not about, exactly 3.8 volts per cell. That is a very, very safe voltage to have the battery sitting at and it also will keep the battery from degrading because what happens if you store a lithium battery fully charged uh, imagine taking a balloon and filling it full of water and leaving it sitting for a long long time what will eventually happen is that the balloon will uh, well the rubber in the membrane of the balloon will stretch and that can actually cause the balloon to fail. A similar thing happens with LiPo batteries. It's not the exact same thing, but basically storing them when they are full causes internal cell degradation. And that over time will cause the cells to go bad. Now, sometimes LiPos just go bad and that's just um, a nature of the beast. And that's part of the reason why my sponsor Venom offers a lifetime warranty. So if any of your Venom cells go bad after a year, well, if they go bad within a year, you can call them up and they will replace the battery free of charge. If they go bad after one year, you can call them up and they will actually give you a 30% credit towards a replacement battery. Now, that's pretty darn good. That's more you can get out of most companies. And if it, does, it doesn't matter, if it goes bad in year two or year 10, if it goes bad after the first year, call them up and they'll give you 30% credit towards a replacement battery. That's not bad. So, but let's say you do have a battery that has gone bad. And I actually have a couple that, you know, I've been doing this for quite a while now. So I've got some batteries that are actually pretty old now, like that Gen Z's up in the corner. I originally got that battery about seven years ago. Uh, and where's it? this one right here? This is one of my, this was my first lipo right here, uh, way before I was sponsored by Venom. And this guy, you know, it developed a bat cell. You can see it started to rupture down here at the bottom. So what I have done, and I do not recommend you do this unless you are very experienced and you know what you're doing, but I build a lot of stuff. So I use wire. Lipos come with very high quality wire. So I have actually severed the leads and and safed them with heat shrink. So you see right here, I've got this one that I've done this to. Here's another one that I've modified or I've done that as well. So this is perfectly safe as I have it. So because I want to reuse the wire. At the very least, you can, let's say you have expensive connectors like these castle connectors and you want to salvage a connector and you don't want to throw that away with the battery. You can actually modify a battery, kind of like, but you don't, let's say you want to keep the connector, but you don't necessarily want to keep the wires. You can do like what I did here. Again, heat shrink. Uh, I don't recommend electrical tape because electrical tape can slide off. Um, but heat shrink, liquid tape, things along that manner, you know, that makes a nice safe connection so that um, you don't have to worry about these things shorting and very bad things happening. So 
Now you might ask, why didn't I just go through the step of doing a salt water bath? Well, according to my sponsor, Venom, uh, they now have data that shows that oftentimes when you do a salt water bath with lithium batteries, it will cause the connections to corrode and it will cause the connections inside the battery to end up failing. But oftentimes that happens before the actual battery has discharged. So if your battery has discharged completely in a saltwater bath, you're good. But more often than not, the connections inside the cells inside the battery fail, but the battery still has energy in it. So if you take a battery that still contains energy and you put it into your garbage thinking it's safe, but then the garbage truck uses this compactor and causes the back battery to rupture or it ends up going to the landfill and a you know an excavator rolls over the thing and causes it to rupture you can actually still get a lipo fire so what venom is recommending now is find a place such as best buy batteries plus home depot uh, several electronic stores have a bin now that will accept lithium batteries for proper disposal i'm going to take mine to the local battery plus I don't like the possibility or I don't like the idea of just throwing one of these things in a bin and hoping for the best. I want to actually put it in someone's hand so that I know that it's properly disposed of. So this guy right here and this guy right here and I've got a few more in here. This guy and this guy, you know, they've all had some unfortunate mishaps. So they're going to be going to disposal. So stay tuned. Oh, and I think I have one more. Yeah, this guy right here. So these five batteries, they're all pretty old, honestly. Yeah, well, except this guy. This guy is just kind of a weird lightning strike type of thing. It just went bad. Um, but fortunately, like I said, it got the warranty, so it's, the, it's being taken care of. But all these guys, you know, generally good she used the service out of them but now it's time for it's time to say goodbye so i will be taking these to batteries plus and you'll get to see me go through the process of making sure that these are disposed of properly in a way that doesn't endanger anyone all right guys i hope you found this informative our house 21 sign out remember the mantra fly fix fly break it fix it and do it all over again and don't forget to check me out on facebook instagram Twitter and everything else and also you can find me at the Castle Creations fan page the Venom RC lifestyle page and on the RC physics sandbox so come on in hang out talk RC or life and stay tuned lots of new interesting developments coming up all right guys our house 21 signing out peace